Artillery is an extremely powerful but intuitive real-time effect plugin for stage and studio. With over 30 effects literally at your fingertips using any MIDI keyboard, you can twist and mangle sounds in extremely creative ways. First of all, you'll need to plug Artillery into your sequencer. Let's start with Ableton Live. We have here an audio clip looping in live. Dragging the Artillery plugin to the audio channel opens Artillery as an insert so that all sound from our clip is routed through it. To stop all effects, just click here. We can reactivate them by clicking on different keys. But the fun part is playing Artillery's effects on a physical keyboard. To do this, go to the MIDI channel and route the MIDI 2 dropdown to the audio channel where we have Artillery inserted. Now click the IN button under Monitor, and you can start playing effects on your external keyboard. Here we have Sugarbyte's Consequence plugged into Native Instruments' core host. As both sound generator and step sequencer, Consequence gives us a steady flow of sound to play with. We could just drop Artillery right under Consequence, but then all the MIDI information from Consequence would also control Artillery's effects. If you don't want this, then use a group channel. Route the audio output of the consequence source channel to the group channel containing artillery. Now we can play artillery with our MIDI keyboard. To use artillery in Logic Pro, start with an audio track as your source. Now create an instrument track and open artillery as a MIDI controlled effect in the I.O. slot. Using the drop-down sidechain menu in the plugin window, we'll route the signal from our audio track right into Artillery. For best results, mute the audio channel. This way, everything you hear will be going through Artillery instead of having the effect output mixed with the original audio. You can always mix the wet and dry signals right here. With the instrument track selected, we can now control Artillery's effects by playing on an external MIDI keyboard. In the next video, we'll look at individual effects and their parameters.